soft pretzels. For some reason, these nutrition-lacking delicacies have become the go-to snack for mall shoppers across America. We're here at Auntie Anne's in Hollywood, California to find out why. My name is Wax, I eat at regular places, and this is Chain Reaction. I'm already drinking the lemonade. Lemons have always gotten a bad rap. You know, lemons are assumed to be shitty. People call a bad car a lemon. People say when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Lemons are like, what was wrong with lemons? There's a reason why they made that phrase though, because lemonade is the marriage of the sugar and the lemon. And lemon looked at itself totally differently once it met sugar. Lemon is like Cinderella, and sugar is like the fairy godmother, you know? And lemonade is at the ball wearing glass slippers. I'm gonna rate this lemonade one pumpkin-shaped horse and carriage, because that's what Cinderella rode in, right? Yep. I remember my children's stories. Let's go eat. We are finally ready to sit down and eat our Auntie Anne's pretzels. Here's the original Auntie Anne's pretzel, which I already ate some of. The pepperoni pizza pretzel. Hot dog pretzel bites. Cheese sauce. Honey mustard sauce. The cinnamon sugar pretzel. And the caramel sauce. You'll notice that Auntie Anne's pretzels is never in the food court. It's always like rogue by itself in the mall. That's because they're categorizing themselves as a snack. Have us with a Starbucks. Have us with a Miss Fields cookie. Don't have us as a meal. Most mall restaurants exist in a flock. The flock is the food court, you know what I mean? But if you've ever seen Planet Earth, you know that Auntie Anne's is more like the snow leopard of Russia. The snow leopard in Russia spent its entire life alone. That's like Auntie Anne's just existing in some corner of the mall, like we don't need the flock, we're separate because we're snack. It's a real lesson in defining yourself. You think Auntie Anne's has depression because it's by itself? They have depression, actually. A pretzel can be an appetizer, a pretzel can be a dessert, or a pretzel can just be a snack. A pretzel is like stretching. It's good to do before a workout, it's good to do after a workout, but it's also just good to stretch at any time. Fucking incredible, dude. It's so simple, it's just bread, butter, and salt. The beautiful simplicity of the original Auntie Anne's pretzels make me think of the music of Tom Petty. It's not rocket science, it's just really good rock and roll, man. And that's why this pretzel is about to be free falling right into my fucking mouth. Caught it with my leg. This pretzel is so good and it's really just bread and butter. I guess that's why there's a saying, at Auntie Anne's we make lemonade, but pretzels, that's our bread and butter. Pepperoni pizza pretzel. Looks very 7-Eleven-esque, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. This tastes like if you took that absolutely delicious original pretzel and then mixed it with like a 7-Eleven taquito. Taquitos are good. No, they're not. How do you take something so amazing, the original pretzel, and fuck it up so bad? It's like splattering diarrhea on the Mona Lisa. It's like if you took the entire Sgt. Pepper's album by the Beatles and just recorded a track of a baby crying on an airplane on top of it, and that's the new product. It'd be like if you took all those classic Tom Petty songs I was talking about and put 7-Eleven taquito cheese and pepperonis on it. It's terrible. Let's try to improve this, shall we? Cheese dip. By the way, this pepperoni seems like something a dog would really like. I know for a fact that this cheese sauce is the same as Cheese Whiz. There's a flavor of plastic that only Cheese Whiz has, so I know this is Cheese Whiz because that taste cannot be duplicated anywhere else. Have you ever bit on a straw? You know when you blow up an inner tube? Mm -hmm. That like plastic taste. Mm -hmm. Cheese Whiz is like that, mixed with like a little bit of American cheese, a little Velveeta. This comes from the same factory that Cheese Whiz comes from. That said, it's pretty good. Yev redeemed himself today. He came up with this rating. The rating for this, since it tastes like Cheese Whiz and plastic, is the Wizard of Straws. Straws being like straws. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The pretzel dog. It's a mixture of a hot dog and a pretzel. There's not much else to it. I want to ask you a question, Yev. Mm -hmm. Who do you think was really happy with the invention of the pretzel dog? Give up? Mustard. You know when you watch Jeopardy and somebody makes it a true daily double and they get all nervous, but as soon as Alex Trebek starts reading it, they get that super confident smile on their face because they know they're about to double their money because they know for sure they got the question right? That's mustard when it comes to this pretzel dog. You can see it now, Alex Trebek's like, the condiment most likely used on the Auntie Anne's pretzel dog. And mustard just sits there, he's like, what is me, Alex? What is me? Free, free falling. Taste is a very powerful sense, Yev. 
I tasted that mustard and the hot dog together. When I closed my eyes, I thought of baseball. I thought of the Baltimore Orioles, whose games I would go to as a child. I thought of going to my own baseball and soccer games at the park. I thought of 4th of July. I thought of America in that bite. All summed up with the taste of that mustard to go along with that whatever the fuck a hot dog is. <laughs> that dog saw this hot dog and he's like super jealous. The pretzel dog, unwrapped. Let's try the honey mustard. I thought we were gonna have like an Auntie Anne's original sauce here. This is fucking salad dressing, bro. Mmm. Look, it's got all kind of plastic on it. Plastic is like the theme today, huh, Yev? Yeah. Mm. Everything tastes like plastic. No wonder we're in Hollywood. If we're talking mustard and we're talking hot dog, we're talking yellow. We're not talking honey. Maybe Dijon. Maybe spicy, and when I tasted that honey mustard, it made me think of like the uh, the Hollywood version of America. You know what I mean? Yellow mustard equals the forefathers of the independence revolution. Honey mustard is Tom Hanks playing George Washington. I rate this honey mustard Hollywood, the Hollywood walk of lame. I rate this yellow mustard America, land that I love. A lot of people don't know this, but the three little pigs were originally the four four little pigs. But the first one didn't even build a house, he just had a blanket and the wolf ate him so fast that they named this delicious treat after him. Pigs in a blanket. Let's have dessert. I guess this is the same fucking pretzel just covered in cinnamon and sugar. When I say covered, you know like high definition photos and video when it's like blah 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 pixels per inch? Whatever the highest definition of pixels per inch, that's how many that's how many granules of cinnamon and sugar are on this thing. We got 4K TVs worth. What's that? 4K is what? 4,000 pixels per 4, inch? 4,096. This has at least 4,096 cinnamon sugar granules per inch on this fucking thing. Jesus Christ. Wow. This pretzel makes cinnamon toast crunch cereal taste like regular bran flakes. Auntie Anne is from Pennsylvania and she once tried to get the state changed to Pretzylvania. But you know what happened? What? The people at the state legislature were actually family members of the the guy who invented the pencil. So they wanted to keep the legacy of him alive. Is that true? No. Overload. Human being, robot, overload on sweets. I've never tasted something this sugary. I've never, <laughs> I've never done it. I've never done it. Whenever my brother complains about something because it's too expensive and I'm just like, yeah, well, it's, stuff's expensive here. He's like, I've just never seen it. $13 bond me sandwich. I've just never, I've just never seen it. Dude, it's funny how sugary this is. It's more sugary than sugar. It's like... I should be helping these guys. I should be helping these guys. Oh, you need a key to do it anyway? I was gonna try to... Yep. Up. I got it. I would grab that, but my hand is covered in caramel, dude. You're good. You know when those people do the polar bear plunge? That's when they like chop open ice and jump into the water that's underneath the ice just to like refresh themselves or wake themselves up. I got to imagine that no matter how cold you think it's going to be, it ends up being way, way colder than that and it's shocking to your body. That's how shocking the sweetness of that pretzel was. I rate that caramel dip along with the cinnamon sugar pretzel Scarface because you'd need a pile of sugar that big as that pile of cocaine Al Pacino had to even fathom how sweet that fucking thing was. I'm full of bread and ready to dip. If you ever go to Auntie Anne's, keep it simple. Just get the original pretzel or get the pretzel dog. All the extra stuff is just that, extra. I give Auntie Anne's an eight out of 10. Now let's go look for Shirley Temple on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. Ellen Drew? I'm gonna die. I just stood on the star of Ellen Drew. Ellen Drew, Ellen Drew, Ellen Drew. A lot of famous actors come out here. John Phoenix, Stamper Keaton, Doris Olivier comes out here a lot. I once saw John Tompkins out here, Samuel Oliviesto. Uh, Stephen Day Ralph Terenz was out here the other day. He was dressed as Edward Scissorhands, as you can tell. It's just so weird. There's all these big Hollywood stars like Ellen Drew. Then you got these no names right in the middle, like no like Martin Scorskis. Yes, I'm just making it's a joke. I'm making a bit. Oh, mispronouncing famous people's names.